This is the condensed video of our 14-day charter in the Whitsunday Islands on a Seawind 1160 from Whitsunday Escape at Apple Point, Australia. We decided to make this video about life on the Seawind 1160 due to our love of this boat. The video was never planned and consists of clips and photos that are mostly focused on the boat with some of the Whitsundays included. We're in the process of making a much more comprehensive video of the whole 14-day trip. The Whitsunday Islands are beautiful and the best way to see them is on a Seawind 1160. Only budgetary considerations prevent us from owning this amazing catamaran. Coming up on Sid Harbor. We can tack in there a little bit. We're in about, um, oh, here's the wind. Took the reef out. And we're making uh, about uh, six knots. As you can see on a pretty close haul. Cat sails upwind okay. It does pound a bit in heavy seas. So, I don't know, right there. <laughs> Good morning, August, I don't know, Friday. <laughs> How nice it is not to know what day it is. <laughs> Are you recording? Just recording here. Are you? Yes. Talking? No, I'm not talking. <laughs> it's a, oh, wow. Here's our breakfast prepared by Chef Alex. And we have a couple of visitors who are getting upset because we stopped feeding them, I think. <laughs> uh, so, uh, get spoiled rather rapidly. Another beautiful day. Yeah, another beautiful day. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and eat now. to give you a tour of the boat and I'm filming the stern as we pass this wonderful island and our dinghy's up on davits so we don't have to pull it. Uh, there's our barbecue. This has been such a wonderful barbecue. You can make breakfast on it. It's absolutely fabulous. is 20 feet wide so there's two helm areas and the door actually lifts up to make that a complete opening and then closes at night we tend to just leave it in the middle and Steve's at the helm and we're about ready to go through a passage there has not been enough wind today to sail so we are hello Steve Hello! Mm -hmm. So, there you go. I'm going to go inside to the salon, which I love. It is so roomy. You could have eight people in here, ten. It's just a complete U couch. Actually, it's a double bed. And what we love about this Sea wind cat is that the front windows just pull in and pull out so you have total um, view you have it's easy to open and close them 
so this is our living room area and this is the radio area and we actually do have a TV uh, we could have brought DVDs but we didn't and when we're sitting in the marina and things are uh, boats not moving at all we actually did have a little TV and watch some interesting documentaries this is what you see from the salon an absolute 360 view and again it's so roomy and comfortable and now I'm going to go down into the galley okay coming down into the galley area which I have never enjoyed uh, a galley on a boat like this it is everything it has so much space we have empty cupboards but the whole counter area has cupboards up and down glass so you can see where everything is the refrigerator fits more than I can even believe and there are actually two freezers both compartments open right here and those are freezers side by side one we just have ice in while I'm doing dishes this is my view I could be on whale watch <laughs> uh, never will you enjoy doing dishes and cooking with this kind of spectacular view and the cat rides so smooth that even in 15 knots, I can, even 20 knots, I can be down here making lunch, whatever. It's just pretty darn easy. A pretty incredible view. This is our stove with the oven and double sinks. This is the greatest cupboard. It has all the dishes. Everything is locked in wine glasses, mugs, everything at your fingertips and secure. This has turned out to be an actual cabin but it is our kind of storage and kind of where we work on the tech stuff. The drone when it was working. Unfortunately we we'll only have one drone viewing. Okay, and now we're going down into the navigation area. Cupboards all along the way. Again, fabulous windows. And they provide everything. Of course, Steve planned all the tech stuff and we have every type of converter. Lots of cabinets, including a nice swing out chair so you can sit. All kinds of tools and first aid were provided. They give you everything on your trash sacks. This is the master cabin. Everything is beautiful hardwood. I have a huge closet at the end. Not even a fourth filled up. And a big cabinet right there with I could have put everything in and cabinets below and a very, very comfortable bed and they provide a ton of pillows. And then you go through the navigation area to the main head and that one has a walk-in glass shower. a medicine cabinet nice view while you're showering or on the loo a nice hot water too now I'm heading up the stairs to the main salon Again, so beautiful, so roomy, 
I've never been on a more fabulous, comfortable boat in my life. Definitely, if I had to do a lot of cruising, you want to use at least a 38-foot cap. <laughs> Here we are coming into Whitehaven, a very popular place. There are a lot of boats anchored. Uh, it's a street strip of white and pure white sand beach, the longest in the islands. And it actually goes around so it's own it's its own island if you will. Incredible from an aerial view. Here at Whitehaven Beach, about to go sh to shore. It is so breathtaking, it, it's unbelievable. So, watching somebody paddleboard, Kim, he would be in heaven in this bay. It's about four or five miles of white sand powder beach and crystal, crystal blue water. Uh, a lot of people carry not only their dinghies, but paddle boards and kayaks aboard. Well, today is Thursday the 13th. We have to turn the boat back in on Saturday. And oh my gosh, it's going to be difficult to do. It's been such an incredible adventure. And today the wind is pretty strong, the seas are pretty strong, and we're just flying with the jib. Good morning, and it's Friday, August. 14, 13. I don't know. 14. <laughs> 14. Anyway, we're having our morning coffee, and morning coffee will never be the same. <laughs> this is extraordinary. Amazing. Down in the galley, and we are flying on a reefed main. You can see the water flying by. I'm not sure I've ever gone this fast. And yet, nothing is moving in my galley. Not even my water jug has even budged during all of this rolling seas. And as you can see from the galley, I'm moving around here, I've braced myself, but it's unbelievable. I could have a bowl of fruit and it wouldn't have even fallen off during the fastest I think I've ever gone. <laughs> so, through my, my galley, look at my view. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that again. So, I forgot to mention that this is the other main cabin, kind of the second big queen-size cabin, and has its own shower and head. Not as nice as the other one, but it is a shower and a head. We've kind of split it up. Steve took this bathroom and I took the other, so we don't have to share. <laughs> and there we are, flying away. And some pretty big rollers. Yeah, my water's still sitting there, despite how fast and rolling we are. It will be very boring standing in my regular kitchen. <laughs> Without the ocean flying by or such a scenic view. So, um, here's a cool thing here also about the cat, especially the sea wind. We're sitting here having snacks while Otto's steering the boat. And um, our, our beer isn't even falling off the table. And look at this. 
I mean, just 360 degree view like you're in a spaceship. Everything's got its trade-offs, but I think the cat's winning out here. It's already won me over. <laughs> it's already won Alex over because it has a great kitchen and a table. And I, I, and I don't mind the wobbly. It doesn't knock me over. Yeah. Okay, so long. Bye. Now we're doing 7.7 .7 knots. We're on reach and uh, a lot smoother. 7.7, 7.8, no drama. So, sailing really nice. Trip's about over. Just a couple miles to the harbor and then one little jog. One little jog over to Able Point, Able Point in the morning. And that's it. Tonight is Saturday night the 15th and it's our last night on the boat. We're having a spectacular dinner and wine with sunset. And this is what I'm looking at while I'm cooking. Will I ever be the same? to keep my eyes on the food. <laughs> <laughs> 